crazy. All right, what's up guys? So, this is my first vlog. I'm a vlogger. Oh, I guess like, I can like move this on me. Hi, hi, how are ya? Um, so, today, me and my friend, Manny, are going to a sensory deprivation tank. Yeah, we're gonna see how it goes. Kind of nervous, kind of excited. And go from there. If this vlog is super choppy, I'm sorry, we're in a Jeep. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Um, and I have like the jankest vlogging setup right now but I'm gonna buy one of those like vlogging things if I continue to do this who knows I didn't really have any good like ideas for videos this week and I didn't want to do another pick a card and then with my grandfather's funeral being on Monday and Tuesday I normally film Tuesday I like didn't even get out of bed for most of it I'm just like I'm gonna take you with me because I'm gonna do some cool stuff I think I'm gonna go get a decaf coffee so I'm gonna call Manny to see if he wants one you have reached the voicemail box of four 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 rude I think you're stopping. I'm gonna help you. Um, can I please have a medium iced pumpkin coffee? Did you want cream and sugar in that? Um, no thank you. Actually, can you put almond milk in that please? Sure. And that'll be it. Alright, it's gonna be 3.45. We love a nice coffee moment. Oh shit, I meant to get decaf. All right, well, I'm not gonna chug this because I don't want to be like in a water tank for an hour. I think I'm gonna make this jank setup a little more stabilized. Cause you be, you be not so stable. The engineer in me has duct tape 24 seven. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't. Stole this from the garage. Like my garage, not someone else's garage. True life, my hair is all over the place. I could never, not that I would want to, but I could never commit a crime because my hair is literally in every car I've ever been in. Even if it was like for five seconds, my whole life. So my DNA's everywhere. I don't think that's gonna help, but we tried, we attempted. So I recently just downloaded Bumble, which I'm one of those awful girls who downloads like dating apps and like talks on them for like three days and then deletes them and I'm like in my feels because it's cloudy out I'm also one of those girls okay give me like four cloudy days in a row and I need to be in love for some reason and so I don't know dating apps are just as bad as they were a year ago and I don't know you know, no. But if I moved to a sunny state, then I would never have these feelings. So maybe that's the answer. Move somewhere warm. In the Jeep. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? Um, we're vloggers now. Did you know? Oh, I didn't. Hello there. We look good. We just consciousness. Yeah. 
I stretched this morning too. There you go. Get myself into it. A lot of pain. I brought a brought a bathing suit. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't really know if you'd be in a bathing suit or not. I'm, I'm not too naked. sure. Love that for you. Fully nude. Fully nude. Yeah. I was like, what if I drown? Mm. Gonna get like my <laughs> naked body. <laughs> I don't want them to see that part of me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Remember me as I was. <laughs> oh gosh. I just, I know that I'm like super into trying to hallucinate without doing drugs. And they say that this is part, like, a pathway to that. And like, I'm all about like, outer body experiences. And like I was telling you the other night, but it was your birthday party, you probably. 3D, even 4D, 10 deep. Um, oh, lit lit. 10 deep. Lit lit. I was there. Um, but like two days before you texted me, I was actually like reading articles on how to have outer body experiences without doing drugs, and like breath works on there. And I've had outer body experiences with breath work, but that was on there too. And I was like, hmm, sounds like the perfect time to go do this. Breath work makes me feel like I am going to die sometimes. I hope. It's tough. It's very tough. I've never had an outer body experience like by myself. Mm -hmm. I've only ever had them like on the retreat I did when we were doing breath work for like an hour. Mm -hmm. But making yourself do it for an hour alone is hard. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think we did it for like 13 minutes that one time and it feels like an eternity. That felt like forever. Mm -hmm. That was only 13 minutes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh huh. Here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> he told me we have to watch a video. We on... gotta watch a video on how to flow so we don't drown in 10 inches of water. <laughs> we gotta, you know, just pretty much get the ins and outs of floating in salt, salt water. Float Bob was invented in the 1950s by Dr. John C. Lewis, who was doing research on brain waves and altered states of consciousness. The pod provides an environment that suspends your body in a zero gravity like state and is a powerful tool for relaxation, pain, and Time vibes. Got wet hair, no makeup on, didn't really think about being in the water aspect of this. But we look good. Never looked better thriving. Looked good. And I mean you want people to see you how you normally are, naturally. No makeup. I don't have one in the makeup. Love that for you. Love it. <laughs> <sighs> good. Vlog more responsible. 100%. 100%. <laughs> They'll definitely see us be pounding back a craft of water because I am dehydrated AF. All that salt. You don't think that it would take it out of you, but it literally takes it out of you. 100%. Sucks all the water out of you. Ready. Ready.
ready. All right, how'd it go for you? Also, we couldn't vlog during lunch because we had lunch in the middle of a tornado construction zone, so. Can you imagine the sound that that made? A tornado construction zone. It was interesting. Um, I like the ability to float. It felt like I was in a womb, a 30 year old man inside of a womb. And uh, time did not stand still though. You know, mm -hmm. it came a point to where I was ready, but it was like slowly towards it. I did fall asleep. I fell asleep for a little bit. I felt comfortable and I was fully nude. But the thought plagued my mind. How many other people were fully nude in there? And uh, Oh, I didn't think of that. Just sitting in a vat of testicle tea. Oof. What if someone peed in there? And then you were laying in their pee. So, these are things to consider if you <laughs> want to float. <laughs> How was your experience? How did you feel? It wasn't the greatest. I definitely fucked up though. I drank caffeinated coffee beforehand. And, um, oh, I didn't eat. So then my stomach started making noises and you can like really hear it with the earplugs in, mm -hmm. like really hear it. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't the smartest thing, but you know, you live and you learn. I have the attention span of a goldfish. And I just like started like swimming like a mermaid for part of it. They they tell you like in baseball or like any sport, you know, just get out there and have fun. I definitely let myself have fun. There you go. I was like kind of mad at myself that I couldn't focus. But then I was like, it's okay. Just have fun. You... A, a couple times I did get comfortable enough to getting to the point where I didn't want to breathe. I've got that issue. I don't want to breathe sometimes. But we still living out here. But we're still we're living. We're still out here living. <laughs> I wasn't scared though, and I turned the light off. It was completely dark in there, and I was not scared at all. It being pitch black in there really uh, is great because like, if you open up your eyes, you know, you go back to the darkness. There is no chance for light, so it keeps you uh, completely I don't know, compelled to just sit there and take it. Mm -hmm. Take the darkness. Yeah. And then the second half, I did I, I did meditation because I couldn't I couldn't do it anymore. It was like an eternity in there. So So for people who are just looking into it, remember you got to breathe. He, these, these are the tips. Let's <laughs> these All right. Are all right the let's, tips. <laughs> let's Let's really get the tips down. So like first tip what would you give them definitely breathe don't stop breathe. breathing don't stop breathing i mean unless you just need a little break then that's mm -hmm. that's cool i just get so comfortable that i just you know right. it, i just want it my, like you said earlier my lungs need a rest so focus on your breathing deeply breathe and uh everything should be okay with it all right number two number two you know what i would say what would you say? Take some sort of entertainment with you. But I think that defeats the purpose. I think you're supposed to be disciplined enough to do nothing for an hour. So like I thought maybe I failed by putting on that guided meditation. But nothing for an hour. An hour is a long time to just be floating there. Number two, kill your ego. Kill your ego. Kill it. Cause it's not gonna be what you think it's gonna be. I thought I, I thought it was gonna be just like when I saw Daredevil. He got into the tank and just went deep and started having lucid dreams and blah blah blah. Instead, I got in, fell asleep for a little bit, thought about being in testicle tea, moved around, <laughs> stretched. Yeah, it was exactly. nothing like the movie. It was nothing like that. <laughs> was, I've had better experiences just laying in my bed for like an outer body experience to like connect to something else. I never got to the point where I was just consciousness, which I can I can do probably at least once a week for like a solid 20 minutes if I'm meditating in my room. I can. Yeah. yeah. So it's definitely going to take discipline. So, all right. So number two, 
you should focus on being disciplined mm. before you go. Try to discipline yourself. Kill the ego. Discipline yourself. Build that shit up. Three. Rule number three. Are we going to make it to ten rules? We could try. I don't know. Rule number three. Don't sit up because your hair is wet and then it goes in your eyes. I, it went in my eyes. I had to use that emergency spray. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I'm so dumb. <laughs> but I wanted to sit up and do... They show you a video in, in the beginning and this girl's like meditating. She's just sitting crisscross. I don't think she was floating. No. But I just wanted to like sit there. I'm like, maybe if I change the position, it'll be better. But by that time, my hair was already drenched and her hair was dry in the video. And then it started coming down and all of a sudden I had salt in my eyeballs. Also, piggybacking off of that, there is 1,000 pounds of salt in one of these things. So don't, don't get it in your eyes. Mm -hmm. Try not to get it in your eyes. It's like razor blades and lemon juice when it gets in your eyes. Worst. It's really bad, worst. Rule number four, or tip number four, always use a Groupon. That shit is expensive. <laughs> it's so expensive. Use a Groupon any, any way to save money, any way to save money because I mean, like one time floating is like eighty nine dollars, and with Corona and everything going around, you know, do we really have the money to be doing that? A lot of us is laid off. We just so happen to be blessed. We vlog, and you guys' dollars pays for us to do these amazing, luxurious, lavish things. Oh my God! Speak it into existence. Monetization. Oh, it's already happening. We could start a whole playlist yeah. of just like you and me trying out crazy stuff. You and you and you who just clicked on this video, you're paying for this shit. Keep watching it and we'll do whatever the hell you want us to. <laughs> I swear to God, I'll do anything for a dollar. <laughs> oh my God. <sighs> Number five. We're only gonna do, yeah, do five, let's just do five. Tips. five <laughs> tips. Fifth tip. What uh You gotta go on the fifth one. Alright, I got fifth tip. Hydrate afterwards. Hydrate afterwards. <laughs> there we go. We are. We just drank probably like two gal gallons of water at lunch. That equates to about six carafes, carafes of uh, of water from a restaurant. Um, we done the science, all right. The salt from the water. Nobody quote me scientifically on it, but the salt <laughs> from the water sucks everything out of you. Big leech, and uh, you know you just be feeling thirsty as hell when you get out of there. I was. And I'm a well hydrated male. Alpha male. Um <laughs> Hydrate afterwards. They do say that it's like extreme physical uh what 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 do they say? Like um fatigue. There's a huge fatigue that comes with it because this is really, really, really therapeutic as long as you know you could like dial it in to be that. Mm -hmm. And uh Anything that involves therapy, even meditating or stretching or blah, blah, blah. Anything that's causing you to relax to such a degree that, you know, it is nap time afterwards. Yes. Probably requires a decent amount of water. I mean, like, we're what, 90-something 90, 90 percent, 70-something percent water? I think 60. 60? I only know that because I just watched an MLM thing on those water those water tanks that you can become mm. the MLL man and all of a sudden you like are some rich girl who lives in Hawaii and how is this scam and they were saying they use the statistic that it's 70% but you can't find any doctor who says who says it's over 60 I've been living at 60% water this entire time and didn't even know about it if anybody can uh, debunk that drop it in the comments I always wanted to drop it in the comments right there <laughs>
What do you want to see us do next? Drop it in the comments. <laughs> Drop it in. I've Drop never done that comments. before. As successful as a vlogger as I am, I've never seen. Drop it in the comments. <laughs> there we fucking go. I did it. <laughs> All right, guys. Well. Drop it in the comments what else you want us to do because we're down for all the spiritual stuff. And winter time's coming up in Ohio where you have nothing to do. So, nothing to do. Help. Except work on yourself. <laughs> Self care.